Hi, I'm Dana. I'm in the showroom at Mir headquarters, and I would like to introduce the Mir 250 hook, the most recent addition to the Mir product family. It's even faster and more reliable and can tow up to 500 kilograms in capacity. The Mir hook has improved navigation and docking precision that makes automating a workflow in a facility easy and fast. What you've seen now is a forward drop off of the cart. Next, the Mir hook is gonna demonstrate a pickup of a large cart. The Mir 250 hook can be commissioned with a wide variety of carts, carts even larger than this one here. The dimensions of the cart are taken and the robot software uses that as part of planning to make navigation safe. The carts are calibrated using QR codes or April tags. In this case, we're demonstrating calibration with an April tag. The robot arm moves down into position and a camera on the robot arm is getting a visualization of the April tag and that calibration tells the robot how to orient its position for an optimal pickup of this cart. The gripper arm is moving into position and will attach to the cart and now the Mir 250 hook is ready to tow this cart. Now we're going to demonstrate reverse parking of a cart. The robot will move into position to drop off the cart in a reverse parking position. During commissioning, forward drop off and reverse parking are options that can be selected for the best solution in a facility. A warning sound will play, indicating the robot is moving the cart into a reverse parking position to notify anyone that's nearby that the cart is going in reverse. Now the hook arm and the gripper arm are releasing, and now the hook will return to the homing position, indicating that now this cart drop-off is finished. Now I'd like to tell you a bit about the new base mount design on the Mir 250 hook. To do that, I need to remove the front and rear covers, and I'll start by removing the antennae. Then I'll slide off the front cover, which is held in place by magnets. Next, I'll remove the rear cover, also held in place by magnets. And then you can see I revealed a new base mount design that is more rigid and robust in its construction. And I'm gonna hand it over to Kent, who's gonna tell you a bit more about the hardware on the Mir 250 hook. Thank you, Dana. So I'm sure you're all wondering what we did to the electronics on the Mir 250 hook. Well, let me show you. So I'll start by taking off this top, put that to one side. From here on, it looks exactly like the, the hook we're used to. But on the base mount, you'll see we have some lids that we have unscrewed and if I remove this one, it reveals the Nook computer hidden underneath. We have all the cables and the connections going up to the arm, and we have some connections to the uh, Mir 250 I.O. as well. You'll also see that we have a, a rubber seal to protect the electronics against dust, and moist, etc. At the back, we have another lid, which is uncovering a power supply, which is new to the Mir 250 hook. We have a new brake relay, and we have the motor controllers that we also know from the existing hook. At the front, you'll see that we have some weights. We have a total of four weights here, a total of 44 kilos. And that together with the mount, the weights and the traction kit makes this a very, very stable and uh, robust robot. I will now hand over to Dana for a safety demonstration. Hi, I'm in the center of the showroom now and what you see on the floor is a projected view of the robot map. The robot map is what the robot uses to safely navigate in its environment. Laser scanners on the robot identify and detect obstacles on the map. You can see under my feet, red dots indicating live laser scanner data. So the robot sees me as a dynamic obstacle in its environment. An important safety feature I would like to highlight on the Mir 250 hook is the brake on the arm 
And this brake is activated when the robot is driving without towing a cart. And this way, the robot arm does not move so that it does not swing uh, while the robot is driving where it could swing into someone or something. Otherwise, safety features on the MIR-250 hook are accomplished with the MIR-250 robot. An important feature is the collision avoidance function, which makes sure the robot does not collide with a human or an object. On the map, we can see a, a path planned by these dots. This is the robot's planned path to move from one position to another, towing the cart. Collision avoidance function says that if I step into this path, the robot will plan a new path around me to safely navigate around me. And you can see that, a new planned path around me so that the robot does not run into me. And that concludes our presentation. I hope you enjoyed learning about the MIR-250 hook.